good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Um, I hope you all had a good day. My day was really, 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 really hot. It got up to 108 degrees today, which is the hottest it's been, well, only since last year. But I had, you know, since last year to get used to the cooler weather again, and so now it's just, I'm melting. It's freaking hot, and swamp coolers suck. They just really suck. But that's what this apartment comes with, so I'm about to go in there and take my second shower of the day just to cool down. But, um, yeah, it's hot. It's midnight, and it's still almost 90 degrees. It's still in the upper 80s at midnight. You know, we're in the desert. It usually gets cooler by about 25 to 30 degrees at night, but, um, during this time of the year, it just sucks. It's really, really hot. But, uh, yeah. So, and now my computer is needing to go to the computer doctor. It's shutting down on its own. And I'm trying to work with the settings to see what I can do with it. And I haven't been able to do too much. I've got it working a little bit better. But it's still trying to shut down on me. So I have a, I, I think it's something to do with the graphics card. Because if I have too many graphics up, then the computer says, screw you, we'll buy, and it goes away. But as long as I'm just working in Word documents, that kind of stuff, it seems to be okay for a couple of hours. So I'm not sure what's going on with it. I've been told that when you have, like, your your graphics processor is separate from your main CPU, then that can cause some issues because your graphics card and all that stuff gets heated up. And when your computer gets overheated, of course, it shuts down to save itself. And I think that might be what's going on. But I don't have the money to go out and just buy a whole new computer right now, so I'm trying to tweak it and see what's going on, see what I can do with it. That's the joys of a laptop. I like my laptop. I like its portability. I don't like that I have to deal with little issues like that. I can work on computer towers. I've done that. Laptops, I don't know so much about. I've opened the bath, though, and looked at it all, and it all looked clean. It all looked fine. I've checked the fans. The fans look nice and clean, and I've blown them out to make sure. I've tried cooling pads underneath, I've tried all of that stuff. So now I've set it up on a crate that has lots of holes in it so air circulates. And that's helped a little bit. Between that and the tweaking, it seems to be helping a little bit. But we'll see what happens, you know, as the computer gets older. It is three years old. And computers sort of have a shelf life nowadays, especially laptops. But, uh, yeah, so... I guess it's turned into a vlog about me complaining about my computer, which I'm grateful to have. But at the same time, it's still annoying and still a pain in the butt. So the next time I go to get a new computer, I don't know, maybe I'll try out a Mac. I've had a lot of people saying a lot of good things about Macs, but I like the fact that PCs are non-proprietary, meaning that I don't have to use one particular company's stuff to do things with it. Although maybe my next computer will be a regular desktop computer instead of a laptop. Or maybe I'll go with the tablet. So I don't use that many word programs now, not like I used to. We'll see what happens. But yeah, you know, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I always do. But I just wanted to say hi, and y'all have a good day, and I reckon that I will talk with you later if I don't melt first, because it's really hot. So I'm going to go hop in the shower now. Bye.